Welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching. So today we're going to talk through some summer inspiration. I did a bit of a browse on Tumblr and I've pulled together four categories of things that are inspiring me for summer outfits, all using pieces that I already had in my wardrobe. So I haven't gone out and bought anything specifically for this video. So it's going to be a lot of pieces you've seen before. Starting with these Isabel Morant trousers for the first category, which is white trousers. As it's absolutely chucking it down today, trousers are an essential part of a spring summer wardrobe in England. And I've had these for a few months now and still absolutely love them. They have a great fit to them. And just with a white t-shirt tucked in, this one's Topshop. And then these loafers, which are from Russell and Bromley, I feel is a really me look that's super easy to wear for sunshiny days-ish. Not too warm. Um, also, not too warm blazer for this outfit. Uh, the trousers are from Reserved. The quality of them is really good and I really like the awkward fit of them and the tie around the waist, which I find quite flattering, if not awkward to get the tie right sometimes. Um, but yeah, I styled them with my Tibby blazer. This tank top, which is from Amazon, it's from a brand called Find on Amazon. Really, really like the high neckline in this. You're gonna see this tank top again in this video. It's just got such a good fit to it. And then my Superga trainers. I've had these for over a year, but forgot I had them, if I'm honest, and then found them under my bed the other day and have been wearing them a lot ever since then because they're so comfy. Second category is cream knitwear. Now, as I said, it's chucking it down, so wearing knitwear throughout the summer is not too far-fetched at all, especially a cream one. This one's from Kate, and I wore it so much throughout the winter. This is just a good way to kind of keep showing some love for the pieces that you loved so much through the cold months too. Uh, Kate's one of my favourite brands, but it's eye-wateringly expensive. I got this knit in the sale, and I've just worn it so much, as I said. So here I have it on with my Martine Rose jeans. I mentioned before I'm really into long jeans at the moment. These also have quite a hefty price tag on them, but in my opinion are completely worth it because they look incredible. And then my trusty pink slip-on Gucci loafers, which you guys have seen so, so many times before. Also a piece that I've had for quite a while is this mango mini skirt. I really am into linen and thick cottons for the summer. This one I got last summer and will definitely wear again throughout the next few months. Uh, same Kate knit here and then my new Attico slides which I've had for a few weeks and I've been wearing non-stop since I got them. We'll be honest they're not the most comfortable things because of that bloody buckle but they just look so good and the red has been working so so well with all my summer outfits so far too. Third category is retro style trainers. Now there's a lot of this around at the moment on the hype of the Balenciaga trainers. I neither like or dislike those. I kind of feel indifferent to them. So I don't think I will ever be spending that much money on them. For me, a retro trainer is something a bit more classic like these Reebok classics. The white leather is what makes them so, so cool. But then on the same note, things like Converse, obviously the Supergas that I just had on, canvas ones are still really lovely, but I've been wearing these a lot recently with a very 90s outfit like this one these jeans are weekday hard to find at the moment but I'll try to find a link that same tank top from Amazon as before and a Topshop belt such a simple look slightly less simple but still easy to wear uh, the trainers again with this skirt which is from Reformation really into tartan at the moment I actually just ordered some amazing Burberry trousers which I cannot wait to arrive which is the epitome of my tartan love right now and then this weekday t-shirt, which I bought before I went on holiday to LA. And I've worn it so much because it is so comfortable. It washes so well. Love, love the boxy fit of it, how cropped it is. It makes it great to tuck into things. Uh, yeah, really, really recommend getting this t-shirt. I want it in a few different colors now. And finally, one of my all-time favorite brands is Totem. Now, Favourite for a few reasons, I think that their imagery is stunning, the way they style things is stunning. They're one of those brands where I go on the website and I'm so inspired by the way they've styled the pieces they have. But they're so good at reworking basics, like this white t-shirt and the jeans, which both have twisted seams on them. The t-shirt through the um, arms and the jeans down the leg. It's just such a subtle detail that makes it feel really different. Um, so yeah, I have quite a few pieces from Totem. For this, this is such a me 
outfit but I have on my new jacket from La Mer I bought this about three weeks ago I'm gonna wear this so much I love the color of it again those same Rus Russell and Bromley loafers which I'm loving at the moment um, and yeah this is just such a me outfit for day-to-day -day stuff but it's basically jeans and a t-shirt but I just feel like Totem do such good jeans and such good t-shirts because of the little modern twists that they have in them and then the final outfit features my totem knit trousers now I've worn these quite a bit and they did start to knee really badly these have just come out the wash when you're watching this and you can see it's almost made it go away I have tried to iron these believe it or not no it doesn't look like it but I still love them regardless because they they're just so cool and they're so comfy I styled them with my Saint Laurent sandals I've had for over a year a new t-shirt from American Vintage which is huge and this checked mango blazer for a really just simple evening look so thanks so much for watching guys this is the last outfit i uh, really hope you've enjoyed links for everything in the description box as always and i'll see you all in the next video